Hello, my most amazing artists. How are you today? I hope that you guys are ready to create. As you guys can see, I'm recording the video in a very different place than I normally do. I'm actually in our art classroom today, cleaning it up, getting it ready for next year. And I'm gonna be recording our lesson in here today, which is very exciting. Makes me definitely miss you guys in the classroom, but it's nice to be back in here. So today we are going to be doing something called pour painting. So here is what a finished example of a pour painting looks like. Here's a couple I did. I did these earlier in the year. It was something we were gonna do in the classroom, but we didn't get to it because of the circumstances, but we're gonna do it right here today. So what I started with is I picked four colors of acrylic paint. Um, I picked blue, white, pink, and yellow. And what I did in these cups is I mixed equal part acrylic paint water and liquid Elmer's glue. Now, if you do not have those materials because acrylic paint, not everyone has, it's a permanent paint. It's not like tempura where it washes off. That's okay. I think that you could probably make it work with some tempura paint and some glue. All you really need is paint that you can thin out to a consistency where you can pour it and move it around. So I'm just going to be pouring it today on a piece of cardboard. Obviously I have paper down. This is super messy. Um, but it's just as easy as it sounds. What I'm just going to do is pour the paint around onto my little canvas that I'm using, like I said, a cardboard, and I'm just gonna move it around to get our final product. It's a very easy, but as you can see, the results are really, really pretty. I love these so much. I think this would make a great gift for anything. We have Father's Day is the only thing coming up that I can think of, but if you did this around Christmas time, I think they're great gifts for Christmas or your birthday, or like I said, Father's Day, or whatever day you celebrate or maybe you just want to be nice give it to your friend give it to your brother your sister or your mom whatever i think they make great gifts because they're so beautiful and they're so easy to make they're very fun so i'm gonna start with this blue color and i'm just gonna pour it in a zigzag pattern all over super messy i'm gonna show it to you when i'm done it doesn't matter how you pour as you can see i have a little popsicle stick in here that i use to mix up the water acrylic paint and glue yeah, just pour it on there. Doesn't matter how it looks, we're gonna move it around anyways. There's a lot of different um, ways, different ways that people do pour paint. Some people put all the colors into one cup. I like this method because I think it's the easiest and um, you still get a beautiful result. Okay, my last color, I'm putting my yellow on. I just put it on like this, zigzags. And now, as you can see, it's just moving around. This is why you definitely need a piece of paper underneath. It's so messy. And you just wanna move it around, cover all the corners of the paper. It's already looking so cool. I'm so happy with this already. And I'm just taking my time holding it so I can cover all the corners. You are going to get dirty. You're going to get paint on your hands. That's okay. Art is messy. We already know that. Okay. And then you can just move it around. Kind of look at the patterns that it's making um, on your canvas. Here is what mine is looking like. I'm honestly really happy with it. So I think I'm just gonna stop. You guys can see it, looks lovely. I'm gonna move it around a little bit because when I hold it up straight, it moves what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna set it down right here and it's gonna need to dry. I paint all over <laughs> my hands. And um, something that can help is because there's glue in it and paint in it on the paper, it will kind of stick. So I'm going to have to peel it up when I'm finished, which I'm fine with. But if you don't want to do that, you could put little things underneath each corner, like maybe a little, um, a little cup upside down under each corner so that it's lifted so that the paint drips off the edges and it doesn't stick to the paper. But if you have it on top of the paper and you don't mind if it rips on the corners a little bit, I can show you like 
this one see how it just ripped a little bit but you can't really tell on the front um that's fine it's up to you yeah this is a super fun project i have extra paint so i could do another one if i wanted to um you could do a bunch of these like i said i love the way these look they turn out so beautiful but you're gonna want to let them dry overnight you're not gonna want to touch them because the paint is so thick it's gonna take a long time so you're not gonna want to touch it you're gonna want to completely leave it alone for at least 24 hours I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson especially since it was back in our very own classroom I so look forward to the next time we can be back in this classroom together but until then I hope you're having fun making art in your house and I hope you enjoy this lesson I will see you guys in the next one bye